question. Can you explain what internet is? Yes, I love technology. Pretty amazing. Truly wonderful the mind of a child is. Hey guys, Mr. Ogden here. Today we're going to be working on our websites and we're also going to be using the SNP tool that we were using on Friday when we were building our Legos. And we're also going to be recording projects on our website that uh, we've been working on so far this year. So to start off, you'll click on the tutorial video that you're watching now down here and then you'll be going to the website. So you'll click on this website here and then you're going to log in. Remember it's your four letters that you normally log into the computer with. And then your password. <clears throat> Thank you Ebony for letting, you use, letting us use you for the uh, tutorial here. Once you log into your website you're going to go to projects. So click on projects. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take a slideshow button over here on the left. You're going to click and drag and drop it. And you can choose any one of these slideshows. It doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to choose this one for now. So what you're going to end up doing is uploading pictures from your computer. But first we need to go get those pictures. So we'll come back here in a moment. What you need to do next is go to Google. So once you go to Google, make sure you're signed in at the top right. And then you're going to click these, this button right here, the nine the nine squares and you're going to go to Google Drive. So Google Drive is where all your assignments are being saved since we're using Google Classroom. So when you first log in you'll see this button here that says Classroom. This is linked to Google Classroom. So you double click on it and then you'll click on your period. So period one or whatever period you're in. And then you see all the assignments that uh, that we've been working on this year. So what we wanted to do is using the snipping tool Remember with Windows 8, you're going to go to search and then type in snip and then that snipping tool will come up. What we're going to do is take screenshots or pictures of our assignments and save them to our computer and then we're going to add them to the slideshow. So for example, let's start with the Lego picture. <clears throat> well, this is already a picture, but just to practice taking a screenshot, we're going to Go to search and type in snip and pull it up. For me, it's a little different on my Apple computer. So the screenshot comes up, you click and drag and then let go. Now, now if you go back to your website, if you go back to your website and upload the photos, it'll be in your downloads. Okay, mine goes to my desktop, it'll be in your downloads. We just took a screenshot of that Lego picture, so we're going to open it. <clears throat> so now we're good, now that we've taken a screenshot of that Lego picture, we're going to open it. So there it is, the picture shows up right there and we can go ahead and for now and click save. So now there's only one picture in our slideshow so it's not uh, moving from picture to picture. We're going to add more later but first we need to go take more screenshots of our pictures. So go back to Google Drive and you're going to do this for many assignments. If you notice on Google Classroom, you're going to do it for all these things here. So Family Poster, Family Poster Part 2, all the way down here. You're also going to do your your YouTube editor video. Now if you're a new student or we're not here for those assignments it's okay for now you can go ahead and skip those and go ahead and take pictures of the ones that you do have. If you go back to Google Drive now we'll look at our other assignments. So here was our first family poster so you click on that. Now what you want to do is make sure that you can see the whole image so you may need to change the view okay, to like 50 percent or to fit whatever you may do. Make sure that you go ahead and take that screenshot with the snip tool. Screenshot. All right, let's go back. Now let's say it's a multiple page assignment like this one here, like the digital footprint education. You're going to need to shrink it like I just mentioned with the view. So you can do the this view here actually, go to 50%. Now you can do your screenshot of that whole page because it fits on the whole page. So screenshot, and we can scroll down to the next page, do another screenshot. 
There we go. And you're going to continue doing this for all of your assignments. When you get to your storyboard, same thing. You're going to do a screenshot of each slide. Go to the next slide, screenshot, and continue for all of your assignments, screenshotting, taking pictures of all of your assignments. Then you're going to go back to your Weebly website. And now we ordered, already in, imported one picture here, but if you click on your picture once, you can click Add Photos. So we want to click Add Photos again. And here's all these pictures that or screenshots I was just taking. So you're going to select them all and click Open. Okay, great. Now you're going to click Save. And now your slideshow will begin. It'll change from picture to picture. You can also click the arrows. All right, now we're going to do one more thing. Once you're done with all your pictures for all your assignments, doing those screenshots, we are now going to go to scroll down on the left over here, and we're going to click uh, YouTube and drag and drop that in. I'm just going to open up a new tab and go to YouTube. So if you go to my channel and go to videos, you now have your video that we made earlier in the year using YouTube Editor. So click on that video to open it. You can pause it, and then we're going to go and copy this link. So click up top. Hold down Control and press C to copy it. And now we go back to our website. We click on the video here and we go Video YouTube URL. Hold down Control and press V as in Victor to paste it. And now our video is in. We can change the size of it right here if we'd like to large or extra large or auto. It'll, it'll choose a big one for auto. And that's it. Once you're done, don't forget to publish your website and everything will save. All right, let me know if you have any questions.